Okay, guys, so the first video starts, I want, I want to ask you guys if you can follow me on Instagram threads. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. Just go on there and follow me. And yeah, uh, now let's get into the video. What's going on, guys? It's Rascus VR, and welcome back to a brand new video. So this video, I wanted to do something different, a little bit of a tech and lore video to any new fans or just to people who don't uh, know a lot of, about it. And I want to discuss the tech and war that started at Tekken 6. Because it's still, cause so for, in Tekken 8, of course, you know the war is still continuing, so I wanted to give, like, what's, gonna, what's going on, how it started, and just a more uh, look at it, more inside look of it. So the war starts after Tekken 5, after Jean Kazuma defeated his great-grandfather Jean Pachi Mishima in the 5th King of Iron Fist tournament. He took the throne and he ruled Mishima's Aipatsu from there. One thing that happened before the war in Tekken 6 was actually, I don't know if you've seen Blood Vengeance or not, I'm sure most, most Tekken fans have. Heihachi won power for the devil gene himself, and and that's a big link, that's a big thing tied to the war, because the whole purpose Jean started the war was to was to cease the devil gene. And one thing that Heihachi wanted was the power for himself, which which is why he created the Matari experiment with the M-cell and used Shin Kamiya and other students as test subjects. Of course, that plan failed, and then that made Gene want to act even more about the devil gene. So then he plunged, he went to war against Kazuya and G Corporation to lower out Azazel, which is a being who is the host of the devil gene, who is buried within tombs, uh, cared by uh, Zafina. Many lives were lost during the war uh, that Gene began in Tekken 6. He had his agents st spread fire and chaos and just overall destruction across the entire globe. And many people grow, grow to hate the Mishima Zaibatsu because of this, because of Gene's atrocities, like Miha Roha because his sister was killed in a bombing, and many other fighters as well. Some believed in Gene's cause, but some thought it was pointless and it was murder. Because of all the chaos, some soldiers, even in Mishima Zaibatsu, want to rise up against Jean Kazuma's cause, and that's where the Yggdrasil Rebellion was formed by Jean's half-uncle, Lars Alexanderson. And his rebellion was funded by Lee Chowan of Biot Systems, who is Jean's adoptive uncle. And he, Lars was doing everything he could to stop G Corporation, but as well as prevent, stop Jean from committing any more murder with his cause for to kill Azazel. No one understood it at the time, but Gene never gave up even when people rebelled against his plans. Lars and Gene eventually met up at the end of Tekken 6 when Azazel was unleashed. And Gene took on Azazel by himself, of course, and he explained to Lars about his intentions, about he never wanted to harm anybody, but it was the only way to kill Azazel. He kills Azazel in Tekken 6, and then he's arrested by the United Nations for his atrocities worldwide. Lars eventually evacuates the scene, but need, but f tries to recover him because the war still continues on, even when, without Gene's presence, because Kazuya won't stop. And then, eventually in Tekken 7, Heihachi reclaims the Mishima Zaibatsu when Gene is absent, and he only progresses the war even further. As the war progresses in Tekken 7, Kazuya and Heihachi duel it out. They were going to, but then Akuma entered the picture and won their blood. So, the war kind of was on pause, but at the same time it wasn't on pause. Heihachi was killed by Kazuya at the end of Tekken 7, in their final duel on the volcanic pit, of course, and then... Kazuya and Akuma fight it out at the end, and that's a cliffhanger because we don't know what happened to either of them. We know from Tekken 8 uh, trailers that Kazuya survived, but we don't know anything about what happened to Akuma. So, uh, so for, uh, for Tekken 8, it's going to be uh, interesting to see what's going to happen then. But also at the end of Tekken 7, Gene recovers after Violet Systems and, y and the Yggdrasil Rebellion recover him from the Mishima Zaibatsu after their duel in Chapter 9 of the game. And Gene recovers, and he says he's ready to kill Kazuya and then end the war once and for all. So hopefully he can do it, because we're all rooting for Gene, my boy Gene. Hopefully he, he can win and bring peace to the world. But other than that, that's where the war is currently right now. Once Tekken comes out, I'll probably make another video explaining how the, the war ends and everything, and I'll be posting some gameplays from that as well, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful, and I hope this I hope you guys understood the, basically the war that was going on, and helped any players who didn't understand, or any new players who want to know more about the war. So yeah, guys, I hope this helps you out. If you do, if, if this did, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more Tekken content, as well as my other favorite games, Grand Theft Auto, and Population One VR as well. And yeah, um, I hope this was helpful, and I will see you all next one, guys. Peace out. Bye bye.